son of a... So yeah, that's the base machine. So anyway, we're at Jason's shop today, and we, he got a Phantom grill. And what we're gonna do is take his grill out and put her in. We're gonna take the grill out and we're gonna cut it, end up priming it, painting it, and all that. But we gotta recess the headlights and all, and just try to get this thing fitted in today. If you guys have never seen how to take a grill apart, it's pretty self-explanatory, but. Look for all your screws. Just couple in the grill. You'll have to take your park light out. You'll have to undo it from the inside too. You'll have to unplug it. Uh, they will come out as a unit on each side, and the grill will come out. The headlight will stay right where it sits. Yeah, and once you pull these out, there's two screws behind it to hold the grill on. stapler I'm gonna staple my uh, grill back together make it more sturdy yeah so on this grill a crack right here it's the original grill but uh, we're gonna put a couple hot staples in there before we do any cutting and then we're going to do a lot of filling and bondoing and making it pretty and painting it. Just so everybody knows, if you have a hot stapler and you're out of staples, use welding wire. You can bend them and make your own staples. Ooh, that's a good tip. So I guess we're out of staples. We're going to see this. We're going to see this in action. Just fold them and bend them over. Couple of U shape. Just make them like you've seen them. Because all we're basically doing is getting that wire hot and we're gonna melt it into the plastic and it'll just stay there and give it strength. Like stitches. Metal. So, you know, my first thought was to do it from the other side for some reason. But I guess because I've never done these before. Yeah. But you want to do it from the back so you can body work the front. And make it look pretty. A few moments later. Yeah. Look that. And no flex like it was. No flex. It's tight. A lot of staples, though. It's there for the long haul. It's there. Oh, let's look at this this phantom grill instructions oh wow let me take a peep at these instructions Ooh, and you get that thing out all right let's see what they say okay. Oh, it's so nice. It is so choice. If you have the means, I highly recommend picking one up. Anyways, they're saying you need a rivet gun. Yeah, come on. 
So we got a rivet gun, a drill, one eighth inch drill bit, and all that. Some sandpaper. Yep. Coming out. So they say, open the hood and remove the factory grill. Well, we've done that. There's only four steps. They make it sound so simple. It's very important to cut the grill shell as outlined. And they just have a picture, not even a template. Not even a template. Well, we're going to have to make a template. Yeah, right here. It says one and a half inches down from the top. So this is the top, so they want us to go That's one the bottom, actually. No, uh, this is the top. They want us to go one and a half inches down. That's not right. That's not right. Mm -mm. Yeah. Not much to these instructions. About their one and a half inch. Well, but you know what I had thought about was making a piece of cardboard to match this and lay it up here and then trace it with a black marker and then or and then outline it with tape and then go to cutting so what we're doing now is making a template we traced the phantom grill on a piece of cardboard and now we're cutting it out so we can put it on the face of the OEM grill and the reason for that is we didn't trust the instructions but we trust the template yeah, the instructions were bunk. A few moments later. We're just going to have to trim it at the top and right along this line where the the light goes. Right. So that tape you bought, I think if we was to follow this. All the way down. Right when we meet up there and do the same and leave this. Cut out a little in there, but I think it'll work. Yeah. Like that. Awesome. Yeah, so we can, we're going to do that and cut it. Just remember, everyone, you can always keep grinding it down. You can't ever add it. You can't add it back. Cut it out. We just cut it out. It took a while. Left a little bit of extra. So now we're gonna sand it down and make it fine fit. Oh, yeah. big more roll it's okay. a big roll. Gotta have a DA sander. They ain't say nothing about that in the instructions. They ain't say nothing about that in the instructions. They ain't say nothing about that in the instructions. Alright, so what we're going to do now, we've got it uh, kind of mocked up. We'll flip it over in a little and show you 
pretty much though if you want to look now we cut it all the way to the edge we'll flip it over and show you the rest but that's how it is on both sides both ends right now we're gonna mock it up we're gonna drill and some of these came and they don't meet up with the with the uh, grill so we're gonna put spacers in here and, and instead of using rivets for now we're gonna use bolts so that we can take it back out and bodywork the grill and paint it we don't want to rivet it in just yet okay so we end up getting like a lot of bolts they really should be 1 8 but they're a hair over 1 8 because if we want to go back with the rivets they provided you know we could do that but we ended up getting some just a little bit larger and we had to drill out the holes just a little bit and uh, we just want to bolt it in so we can take it out and do the bodywork and paint on this thing in a little while next week or so all right we took the headlights out we're going to do a little test fit Well, yeah, just a little bit. We need to sand that. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. We had a little bit of, I mean, your the grill is not quite as conformed as the original grill, like the bend. And if you try to make this match that, you won't it won't match the body it won't be able to bend it so we had to let it relax a little bit so we got a little bit of hanging out there now we got to recess the headlights so yeah you got to cut all the way to there pretty much there and all the way across to fit one. You know, I feel sorry for the guy who had to do this with no power tools, no air tools, and a hacksaw. That home with a Phillips head screwdriver. Ah, uh, that's. I, handle Phillips head screwdriver. It's terrible. Yeah. Not even sure it would look this good. I don't know if they can do it. I think they'd be hitting up a Harbor Freight for some tools. Yeah, you'd have to. You're going to take it to a body shop. Yep. And that's where we're at. Yep. Make sure you don't cut your wiring harness when you're in here with a saw going this way because your harness is right there. You didn't cut it, did you? No. Close, close call. Also, do not cut off where your spring that holds your bucket in goes. You're going to have to cut them off. Yeah, right here? Yeah. We are thinking that's about how much to cut off. And just in case, I mean, we cut it in a fashion that if we had to, we could weld it back in. But, hoping we don't have to.
All right, if anybody's doing that without an air saw like that, good luck. Good luck. All right, so we, we've got the headlights recessed, and we did that in one go. He did that, actually, in one go. That's how, ooh, that's how far back they are. Uh, it is basically, let's see how... I would say if I went from here to there, the headlight does not stick out past two inches. Let's see what we did over here. Yeah, he did good. Like two inches or so. So what we're gonna do now, before we put the grill on, makeshift headlight wall and we're gonna put this up there and back the truck out pull it in and we're gonna adjust these headlights because you can't adjust them once you put the grill on okay so yeah I think we got them adjusted this worked out pretty good we did our deal yeah it worked out pretty good I don't know what to say about it but I think it's on oh, yeah. time to hit the road Yeah. So that's the next thing is to get the Euro lights. Get the Euro lights, paint all the take it apart again. Or you might could tape that off. No, no take it apart, do the bondo, fix the crack. Uh we'll adjust the tabs on it too. Yeah. Paint that all black, paint the front bumper all black. It's gonna be nice. Real nice. Polish the stainless. Yeah, polish that stainless. Super nice. So really, I mean, this wasn't like a how-to how-to, but you have to cut all the way to there and all the way across to get it to fit. And then on the inside, we drilled holes and we put in screws for now because we knew we had to take it back out. Might do rivets when it's all done. Might stick with screws, not sure yet. But it's, would you say it's easy to do? No. No, not easy to do. No, On a skill level, beginner, intermediate, hard. Beginner's good luck. Idiot. It's gonna be a long couple days for you. Yeah. I've been doing it 30 years. Yeah, and it took us at oh, least five hours. Yeah. Five or six hours. Yeah. Well, let's see, it is Dad, six, six hours. Yep. I to use air, air tools. tools. Yeah. Grinder. Yeah, it sticks out just a little, but it had to, I guess. I mean, I don't install these all the time. Let's go for a ride. All right, here we are once again at the end of the video. Uh, you know, I always suck at doing these outros, but um, you know, here I am doing it again. <laughs> if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps the YouTube metrics, uh, helps it get suggested to other people. And if you like what I'm doing and you wanna keep following me, uh, click subscribe and click the bell for the notification. And um, yeah, so if you found it helpful and all and you like what I do, just please click subscribe. It's been a long day. We've done a lot, and uh, I really just want to wrap it up. So, uh, all right, until next time, peace out.